Hello friends, this is Gangadhar from Maths Kingdom. Now, this is another question asked in JE Advanced 2019 paper 2 under section 1, which is more than one answer type question. So we need to go with the information given in the question and then we have to check which of the following given options are correct. These are the four options and we need to check which of these following functions will satisfy the property 1 and property 2 as they mentioned in the question itself. Property 1 is that limit h tends to 0 f of h minus f of 0 by root modulus of h exists and is finite. Property 2 is that limit h tends to 0 f of h minus f of 0 by h square exists and is finite. So if you observe these two properties the denominator is different for these two whereas for the first two property it is root of mod h and for the second property it is h square. We need to check these properties are satisfied by which of the given functions. The given functions are like this f of x is x mod x, f of x is x power 2 by 3, f of x is sin x, f of x is mod x. We need to check these functions whether they are satisfying the mentioned properties or not. So first of all I am going to check property 1. We need to check property 1 for these two functions for option 2 as well as for option 4. What is option 2? Option 2 is x power 2 by 3. So we need to check whether this function is satisfying mentioned property 1 or not. So to check we have to identify the limit value limit h tends to 0 since f of x is x power 2 by 3 f of h is h power 2 by 3 minus f of 0 since this is f of x f of 0 is 0 divided by root of mod h. Now this is h power 2 by 3. So this can be written as limit h tends to 0 h square power 1 by 3 divided by root of mod h. And we know that h square is equivalent with mod h square. So I will change it to mod h square. So this h square is nothing but mod h square. So mod h square power 1 by 3 and then root of mod h. So we are able to write it as limit h tends to 0 mod h to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2. And if you simplify, 6 is the LCM, 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is equals to limit h tends to 0 mod h to the power 1 by 6. Since it is mod h, either we are moving from right hand side of towards 0 or from left hand side towards 0, mod h is always tends to 0, power 1 by 6 always tends to 0. So this value is 0. That in the sense, this value is exists and this finite value. That in the sense, f of x is equals to x power 2 by 3 has property 1. Right? Then I need to check whether property 4, uh, whether option 4, is correct or not. That in the sense, we need to check the same property 1 for the function f of x is equals to mod x. Right. Let us come to check option 4, whether it is satisfying property 1 or not. Right. If you see the property 1 is there, but f of x is mod x, so I need to check the value, find out the limit value. Limit x tends to 0. f of h is mod h minus f of 0. Mod 0 is 0 divided by this is nothing but root of mod h. And it is very clear that mod h by root of mod h is nothing but root of mod h. So this is limit h tends to 0 root of mod h. Since h is tending to 0, mod h tends to 0, root of mod h tends to 0. Again, this limit value is also tends to 0. So the limit is 0, it is existing and is a finite value. So option 4 is also correct option. Okay, option 2 and option 4 both are correct. Then we need to check option 1 and 3. Option 1 the function is x mod x, option 3 the function is sin x. Now we need to check whether these two functions are satisfying property 2 or not. But what is property 2? Property 2 is limit h tends to 0 f of h minus f of 0 by h square. See, let us go with the first function f of x is equal to x mod x. Then what is f of h? h mod h. What is f of 0? f of 0 is 0. Then for that first function, 
to check property 2, we will write it like limit h tends to 0, h mod h minus 0 by h square. 1 h get cancelled. Then you have the h tends to 0 mod h by h. Now if you observe, it is very clear that if h is tending from left hand side, mod h is minus h. If h is tending from right hand side, mod h is h. See, some, sometimes mod h is minus h and sometimes mod h is h. So its result is plus or minus 1. So left hand limit is equals to, here the left hand limit is equals to minus 1. Whereas the right hand limit is equals to plus 1. Since these two are not equal, so limit does not exist. See, property 2 is limit has to be exist, but limit is not existing for the first function. So, option 1 is not the correct option. We, do ha we don't have to choose that one. Right? Then, similarly we need to check f of x is equal to sin x for property 2. So, nothing but f of h is sin h. So, we need to replace f of h with sin h minus f of 0. f of 0 is sin 0 is 0 divided by h square. The denominator is h square. Now I, I will write it as limit h tends to 0 sin h by h into 1 by h and we are very familiar that as limit h tends to 0 sin h by h is 1. Since it is 1 and h is tending to 0 and still we have 1 by h so this value is tending to what? not infinity so it is, does not exist okay see so this limit does not exist whereas our property 2 is this limit has to exist this limit has to exist and is finite but this limit is not finite this limit is to be infinite right so property 3 that means option 3 f of x is equal to sin x is sad is uh, for prop is not satisfying property because the limit value is not finite so property 2 is also a is not a correct option so finally property that is option 2 as well as option 4 are our selected choices to the choices and 1 and 3 are not correct options so there is the another question from advanced 2019 of paper 2 from the concepts of limits thank you